go. I will show a do-it-yourself style in in beautifying a guitar. You know, the <coughs> normally the the experienced player, the experienced guitarist, the one who who already play play for some time, they prefer a good sound. They prefer the good what kind of wood here in the sound, especially sound hole. This sound, this this wood sound sound board, what's that? And the sound hole, this this place so that the vibration. So the important for the experience is the sound of the guitar, the vibration, and also the distance here. But this one is straight, so that the string will be balanced. However. The beginners they always prefer the look of the guitar. Of course, look looks is also important. But I mean, the experienced player prefer more the sound is their priority, not the looks, the sound, and the type of wood, and and the the this one is straight, the fingerboard, and the string can be balanced until the bridge. But those beginners prefer a good good looks of course looks is very important because that's why in our in our world the 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 makeup those those beauty products are very well market because we're all 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 the looks are important to us but anyway i want to improve this because somebody wants this for example or you have an old guitar you don't like that old guitar you want to change it so before you give it to someone especially a beginner because the beginner will really look at the looks <laughs> they're particular with the looks not the sound so it's important to just fake a little okay so i will fake a little here i will fake a little this one i already faked it this one was open so i already fake it so i cannot show it now so but but this one i, I want to make it black so this one also here, sometimes you can just use a black marker, marker or petal pen. By the way, those professional painters, construction painting, they really have a, they called a touch up pen. It's just like a marker because when they paint, they cannot be really be perfect. There are parts that they will miss, then they just put touch up. So that's what we will do. So some, some parts here at the end will not be will 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 look bad already so we can touch up and next i will I, I if i want to make this a little look new a little bit i will i can get a paint thinner paint thinner is very cheap cheaper than one mil one ordinary meal i'm not talking about luxury meal very cheap so thinner just a little bit of thinner because thinner will if if your guitar have paint it will take off the paint thinner will also take off the varnish of your your guitar so just a little bit if you have alcohol it's good mixture with alcohol just to make if if you want your guitar to look new that you're planning to sell or because you know people are like really like that they just look at the most important to people is the looks, majority of the people. But few, the experienced guitarists, they will prefer really the sound. They don't care about the looks. The sound of the guitar and the structure and the type of wood. Because that really defines what the guitar is. By the way, this guitar is ordinary. Ordinary guitar. I use this to practice. Because I cannot afford to study. I really like it before. And one time I went to my friend who is an owner of guitar, guitar shop. I asked if I can work and then I cannot. And then he said that I cannot because I don't know how. And then one time also there was another friend. I asked, how will, how will I, how will I learn to to fix guitar and he said that oh it's really very hard very long process he talked about the building you start to 
make a building for your shop and then oh too expensive so impossible that's why i in short i cannot afford that's why this idea came to me that i will just i will just get a second hand so i can practice i will buy a lot of second hand guitars so i can practice and so i will learn also i will help my friend also sell brand new guitars so i'm helping my friend sell brand new guitars so that i will learn to prepare me in case if i will i will sell i will make a guitar store to prepare me to to lessen my expense if i know the little problems because if i don't know the little problems then then selling will be difficult to save it's good if if chinese because the, the real businessmen, they just buy, they increase the price, and they sell. But because they are good at talking, they are they are well connected. But if, if me, I didn't grow up in that environment. I'm just a son of ordinary pastor. So, I'm not... So, if I will sell guitar, I should know some simple things. So that my expense will be lessened. So, I'm learning in this way. And then, after I practice, if somebody wants to... So by the guitar that I practice, then I can also sell it and very good price and in my opinion, the best available around <laughs> based on the value of that money and the guitar. And I'm not a businessman, I'm a guitar player. So, okay, so to beautify it, put a little bit, okay, put a little bit and then just a little bit so that it will not take out the varnish and put like that. So, so that the the guitar will look new a little bit i already done it a while ago but i'll just do it again now so so now now this one we will make this black okay because obviously that's very obvious for the one who will have this guitar and and probably most of the people don't like that because it's important to the people looks are so important that's why when i was young I, I look better than now I'm old when I was young I can still find girls girls will like me but now but but now I own I only want one and I cannot even have I cannot even have because I don't have looks anymore my time is over so that's what my point there is looks are important that's why I'm sharing this do-it-yourself style looks. So here, here, see? And then from here, it's still black. So I will just start stop here. So that I will have lesser work. Okay. So I'll put another here. Tape. And I put tape here. Okay, this one, this one, I want to, I don't want to take off the paint too much work if I, I paint this black and then I will take off the paint now. So, I will just cover it also so that I will not paint. The, by the way, the best tape will be masking tape. Masking tape will be the best tape, but I have a lot of electric tape, so I just use electric tape because I was lucky to buy a lot of electric tape because somebody sell it to me in very, very special price. That's why I will use electric tape. So, sometimes When I tape it, I forget these parts. So, we'll tape it here. And, so the white thing is covered. Okay. And also this one, the side, and until here is covered. So, so maybe, because this one is all also black. I want I just put this black also because I'm already here now. So 
So just tape it also, this part, so that I will also put black here. My purpose here is the do it your style because because I think this is few on this is only if you do this that I see uh, I'm not even sure if by the way I, I will still check in the YouTube if how many are doing do it your style because most of them are the professional style that I see this one is just like available to anybody you have pencil pen you have tape in your house, you have uh, an alcohol in your house. So, but probably only the thinner, if some people don't have a thinner, because the, some few people don't have a thinner in their house, but that thinner you can buy it anywhere. But those products that, some of the products that we see, the one that they use in the professional way, those are really when you have you you will buy that you will really buy that for uh, to the store that is exclusively for that. Not like what I'm showing here is available anywhere and already already in your house that I'm showing. So I'll tape it here so that I don't like the paint to go here. So. I'm not yet contented, I still want to cover some more. So, you know, this scissor is very strong. Hope I will not accident my finger. I will not make accident. Okay, so I tape it here. Tape. Another tape. Actually, I have my own fast way when I'm alone, but I don't like to do it in the vids. I just cut it like that. <laughs> so, one more. Another here, tape, tape, I wish I can do it first, because that's what's the purpose of this beads. <laughs> okay, then, just it. Tape here. Okay, next. I'll put a little, a little tape here. So that I will not tape this part. Because if I. Okay. So, so this is now. So I will paint this a little black. Paint this a little black. This one. Okay? So, there are a lot of types of paint. Enamel will be good, but it's not realistic for, for a video. I want that when I do video, I'll finish now. So, so this one, so this one, I want to balance this. Okay? I want to balance this a little bit. Because the longer you play, the guitar is being used. There, there was the pressing and then it creates some little holes so just balance a little bit See, just a little.
Okay. So. Okay, so this is what happened now. It's a little balance now. And what I will do is I will get paint thinner. Paint thinner is is have have different usage. Of course, the obvious is to erase paints. Then sometimes if you put a little bit to beautify, it looks new, the old paint. Or you can mix it also. If you want to save your paint, you can mix the NML paint. The oil-based paint, you can mix this also. Because the other paints, you have to use water to, to add so that you can economize. And, but, but thinner, you can use in many things, your old things. But anyway, so, so now what, why, why I, I applied thinner here? Because I will use a very ordinary paint. Because I will not use enamel. I want a quick one. I will use an alcohol ordinary paint. And that kind of paint doesn't stick easily. And it's not even designed for wood. It's designed for metal. And then the way to apply that properly is to spray thinly. And then let it dry. Another thin. Make it dry again. Another very thin. Make it dry. To have good results. And after that there will be a paint to balance. Colorless paint to balance. But now, I will not do that. The purpose of the thinner is also so that it will stick. Just like the same way as the sanding. What we are doing. So I will paint very quickly. Because the purpose of this bead is do it yourself style and quick. So this is what happened now. Is that yet dry? So I will dry it fast. So you know. You know, if, you know, I'm just doing this here in my room, in my room because of the video. But it's not advisable to do this in, inside your room because, because this one is, maybe if you will sleep with this, maybe equivalent to smoking, smoking for <laughs> three months. Just inhaling this, just inhaling this now. In my estimate, one time, maybe it's equivalent to inhaling, inhaling, uh, smoking three months straight, three months straight, every day. I mean, if you're concerned with your health, the lacquer, this type of, very unhealthy. So, so. Hope oh, this is already dry. So I have to check if it's dry. Not yet dry. Not yet dry. I want it to dry fast. So I put blower and then Okay, so I will prepare my so it's almost dry. So while I'm drying it, I will take off the paper. I'll take take off my scotch tape. I may take
Ting of the tip. Tip of the tip. Okay, so now our next problem is this one because it's also black, right? It's also black. So I will make it take off the color. So I will just sand it. I I have this. Plastic. I will cut in the middle. Make a make a space in the middle. The purpose of this is so I can put this protect the paint like this. But it should not be as fast as this. But anyway, that's the purpose. So I will just I will not get all. I have also the way to get all, but now I just get the front for these beads. There's a way to get all, but a different, but but very long time, very long time. So now I'll just show how I will get the paint. Only not not all the paint at the side, not including the side. Only the on the top, on the top. See, that's how how I do it. Because we have because we also paint it. I also paint it. We. Okay, so I will continue make it fast. To make it faster, I'll just work on one side first. To make it faster, I'll just work in on one side first. Most guitar players are also interested with this. Because, it, because you know there will be time when when you will have have experience and then you will have try many guitars and next time you will collect guitars because some of us will really some of us who are passionate at guitar will really be guitarists we are really committed to being to make guitar as part of our life so. So you cannot avoid that sometimes you you will break your guitar. You cannot avoid that sometimes you will like a different guitar. And sometimes you might collect guitar because it's already part of your life if you are really committed. So, but but there are also few that are only fanatic to one guitar. They will never trade that guitar to in one. So. I will do the other side here. Just one sandpaper and one sandpaper, very small sandpaper, and then you can use it for many times if you know how to keep it. But you know, sometimes keeping it, throwing away after you use, is a lot better and more organized in some ways. Yes, when you keep, sometimes you can save. But but when you sleep and then you cannot get oxygen, that's another problem. And then if you find your things, you cannot find because 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 when you have more stuff, it, it will be easily disorganized. So so sometimes it's even better to throw after using, and then just organize the new ones. Because sometimes the things that you don't use will just disturb you, and sometimes you can. But you know, some people many things in their garage, especially in the lifestyle of developed countries, there are a lot of things in the garage they never use that. And then some people, 
I have only very little things. So, I was not able to really, the best here is supposed to be is, is uh, the color will be not gloss, not shiny. It will be flat only, but I did not do it. But anyway, I think that's enough for my purpose to show my do it your style. So, this is what happened. So the next one is I will put the tuning back and I already show my purpose in the fingerboard and and so thank you so much hope you learned something and and I'm also hoping that some guitarists will do a do it your style way so that I can also learn different things because even if even if I'm showing this, this we all have different, you know, we all have different style. Actually, most of the things here I never learn. I never learn. It's my own. What's available to me? But but the the things that I learn sometimes from other guitarists, the things that I I learn from other guitarists is is the heat to apply heat in order to take this off. If I want to straighten this, but I'm still on that. But what I uh, I mastered for many years, what I mastered in my experience, in my own way, I never, I never also get that from YouTube. But I I had uh, the idea from YouTube. When this one is broken, you know this one, the head of the guitar is broken, not connected with this already broken or the this one. What I mastered in my own style is I put a metal, strong metal to connect that one. That's, but this type of head is very difficult to connect because this is an classic guitar. But the acoustic will be easier. This one, when you break this, this is really very hard. I'm still learning how to, finding out my own way on how to connect this one when this is broken. See, because there's a hole here. It's really very difficult. However, if if the, if the it's break broken, probably here, if it's broken here, then I will just add another break. I will just break. I, I just, I, I, what I might do, but... But most of my experience is still on acoustic, and when I had experience with classical style, this is a classical style head. Is my experience is I connected with acoustic style head, but but what but what I do is I'll just make it bigger, the cut bigger, so that I can connect my metal under, and then find a part from a different guitar to connect it. So by the way, that's not the topic now. The topic now is just to beautify this. So. So thank you so much and then I will I may I may share again what I'm doing. So I hope some guitarists will also see this. Uh and by the way, I forgot. Okay, there's one more here. Oh wow. I really forgot. I I want to paint this with black also. But I forgot. But anyway, anyway what I want to show you now is this one also. One more here. See this one I lost I lost the part here. I can get it from other guitar and put it here, but I don't want to do that. I will just show you one more. So, so this one is a playing card. See, this one is a playing card. And what I will do is to get a needle. Okay, a needle. So this one I don't have. It's it's good if I have a tool. I used to have, but I don't know where now. I just. Like the one in the bus station or in the ticket, they, they put a hole in the numbers. Then you can use that here and then you can get it and then it's perfectly round. But sometimes we don't have that. I don't have that now. So what I will do, this ball pen, this pen is also round. So I will put a mark here through the needle. I will make a round, a round through the needle using the needle. So when I form a around then then I can just cut it it's not perfect now because I'm already in a hurry okay so what I do I make a round there so before I would scissor To 
push the bit away. So So I made already one. Sometimes, you know, sometimes just guessing it will even make it better. But I think that helps also because if you have really round and then you connect it with needle one by one, then it's better chance that but some, some people really are very good at it in their, just their imagination because they are naturally artists. They can do it, but me. But for us who have no, not very much in that, we don't have that skill. Then needle, needle, you have a guide and then you, you press it with needle, you can make a round. So now I just put the use adhesive. This one is a shoe, shoe adhesive. The one they used to fix shoes, I just put here. It doesn't affect much the vibration because this is only in the bridge, but you don't apply this in the you don't apply this in here because these are the these are the ones important to, for vibration to produce the sound. Yeah. So, maybe you can do it good now. Let me make it a little smaller. Because if I cannot do it good, then at least. Actually, I have some tools that are to make things easier. But I just prefer to use this now because my bitch is do it your own. It's not straight, but actually, because I don't always do this, and then I have a tool to just make it circle. I just press it, and it will, and I have make it circle, but now. I don't know where so I just put it adhesive and then it's not straight but it's already enough for my explanation and for my purpose of this bead so a straight is good but having a crooked is better than none so <laughs> of course I will straight would be the perfect round will be good at this but I don't have the tool now so it looks like this now so thank you so much and have a good time with your guitar to beautify your guitar you have some idea already and hope I can learn also to some of your ideas if you happen to see this and my channel is very small yet, but even even with channel or not, this is really my life. And I have done this for a long time. So, But this do-it-yourself style, I just learned for a few years to buy a guitar and then to practice. Because, some, some, because I really don't have opportunity. I don't even know where to study, to learn. Something like that. I, and I don't think I really have the talent. But even if I don't have the talent, I have the strong passion. That's why I want to share also. So thank you so much.